are going to visit the replica of the Amish town, which is going to be in Edgartown. It's going to be in Edgartown. Okay, it's going to yep. be in Edgartown, and we will show you around the ship and try to get to the history and the significance behind this replica and why it is here in Edgartown. And we are here. It's 129 feet from stem to stern. Okay. Hmm. What's the most interesting thing that you discovered? about the replica of the Amistad and also the original. I think what's really fascinating for me and what I've really loved about wooden boat building and sailing in general is just honestly the history and the story behind this vessel is just honestly astonishing. And I feel like there's a lot of power and we see that presently today and how the story moves and how we can actually take the story of the original Amistad and really, you know, show and educate everybody, the communities and the youth about the power that happened here. In the rebellion. With this ship in particular, I would really love people to learn more about the history and the lives of the enslaved Africans on this vessel. I know a lot of people, when they first come onto this ship, they really talk about the movie and they talk about how fantastic the movie is, but I feel like the movie doesn't really do justice to the actual history and the livelihoods of the enslaved Africans and what their lives were like in Sierra Leone before they were kidnapped. And there's a really great book, I'm blanking on the author's name, but it's called The Amistad Rebellion, and they do a phenomenal job talking about each enslaved African that was taken. This boat is about 23 years old. It was uh, created in Mystic Seaport and launched in the early 2000s. And the boat itself has been to Barbados, um, it's been to the UK, it's been to Canada, Bermuda, um, Portugal, and actually Sierra Leone as well, in its early days. It's early days, oh, yeah. How early is this ship going back to it? Uh, that would be like the early 2000s, and I believe up until, I would say 2008, 2012, Kai would be a really great person to talk to because she was actually able to travel. Um, I'd like to remind everyone that Amistad was not what we like to call a slave ship. Um, it was indirectly involved in the slave trade, of course, um, but we um, sailed the ship around not to... Um, celebrate slavery, but rather to celebrate freedom and justice. Um, the original, uh, the Amistad Africans are from Sierra Leone. Um, back then it was an area called Mende Land off the west coast of Africa. And a traditional slave ship called the Tacora, a Portuguese slave vessel four times the size of the Amistad, came to West Africa and kidnapped illegally between four and five hundred West Africans. At this time, in 1839, slavery was still legal in the United States, but the slave trade, the international trade, had been abolished, meaning it was no longer legal to go to Africa and pick up human cargo and bring them through the Middle Passage over to the Americas. But just like today, sometimes it takes a while for laws to actually become enforced. And so four to 500 West Africans were illegally kidnapped um, from West Africa, brought over to Cuba. Once in Cuba, those two-thirds of them who may have survived that journey were then auctioned off um, on the plantation um, to various plantation owners um, in Havana, Cuba. The Amistad just happened to be, maybe conveniently so, um, placed and docked in Havana during the slave auction time. Um, and so 53 Amistad Africans were purchased and put on board the Amistad. 49 adult win, adult men, and four children, three girls and a boy. The 49 adult men were shackled down below in the main cargo hold, right on top of all of the cargo and supplies that would be used at a sugarcane plantation. Like I said, the Amistad was kind of the modern tractor trailer of, of the day. Um, uh, that's, that's a really cool question. I've done a lot of sailing. I've done a couple of different programs. Like, I've done day sailing. I've done, like, ocean research in the Caribbean. Uh, working on Amistad is actually, I mean, not to be, to push the organization that I work for right now, but Amistad's actually kind of unique. Um, they're working really hard to bring this vessel back from where she was, bringing her 
two different places telling the story and unlike most sailing boats that I've worked with she actually has a, a historical basis now there's other boats that have history but I haven't worked on those um, but it's it's interesting it's compelling to actually have a boat that has a story that goes with it so uh, in an intellectual level Amistad is my favorite vessel um, a story that I would like to share though I, I think the purple sunset was kind of it because that was just magical I just I, I have pictures from it but it doesn't do it justice like when you're far offshore you just the world is just a globe the sky is just above you and you just see these clouds all around you and you can just see storms coming at you you can see dolphins and fish and the water's just so blue and so clear it's that that is always on the back of my mind when I go sailing like to have days like that where everything's just you know dreaming this is That's the purple sunset. sunset picture yeah, yeah it Amazing. was just dreamy but the picture doesn't do it justice but we were all just like sitting there staring at the sky just being like we haven't gone anywhere in like three days. We're just floating backwards, going north instead of south. But it was just like, all right, it's okay. Yeah. So when we have these moments of chaos on Amistad, because Amistad we need like 12 people on board to sail, and like everything's bigger, and you do everything by hand. I just think about, but it could be nice and calm too. So I just appreciate the small, quiet moments. Mm. Mm -hmm. Where does the ship go next? So Amistad is going to go to New London, Connecticut. Uh, we'll be there for a couple of weeks, and then we'll move on to Mystic, Connecticut, back to the Mystic Seaport. And then from there, we're going to bounce around. We're going to go to New Haven and Bridgeport and Norwalk, and I believe our last stop is going to be Middletown, Connecticut, maybe before we go to our winter dockage at Mystic Seaport. That was a tour of Amistad. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one.